Okay, so let's talk a little more about primary hyperparathyroidism. This is probably the most common condition associated with high calcium. So imagine that your calcium is 11 and your parathyroid hormone level is 200. Now, most cases are not actually this extreme. Most are much more mild. However, this is common, the textbook answer. Okay, so remember in your neck, you have four parathyroid glands. And in that setting, at least one of those glands is going to be bad and produce hormone when it shouldn't. It's not responding to the high calcium levels in your blood and instead saying produce more calcium. Now that high calcium in your blood is coming from your bones. It causes the bones to get weak, causing osteopenia and then osteoporosis. And then the high calcium in the blood goes out through the kidneys, causes kidney stones and kidney failure. Among that, it can cause a slew of symptoms. The most common symptoms would be memory loss or memory fog, as people describe it, sometimes worsening anxiety and depression, abdominal pain, nausea, constipation, even diarrhea sometimes. Joint pain, muscle aches, and bone pain are also quite common. Now, you're probably saying that you feel like you have a lot of those. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of those symptoms can be caused by a number of other conditions. And the only true test to know whether it's coming from hyperparathyroidism or the high calcium actually is really to see how you feel after surgery. I've had people with rheumatoid arthritis that say their joints feel better after the surgery. Other ones feel exactly the same. It's very hard to predict who's going to do that well.